500 becos e pretos tristes como um blues Mano, muçulmano, amor, islã Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam Mil flor, mil cor, mil idioma Mil cor, tipo índio Tio por, servos de Roma Frio, cor, natureza, morna Legalité pour mon père, s'il vous plaît, mille pour moi, mille pour Select. Ma révolution est black, noir, check, et ma terre, meilleur qui est. Uh. Ma terre, mes mains, c'est ma place. Et le vel sonho, vivre en paix. Com nécessaire, sans ter de mais, verde, mais, verde, mais, verde, mais. Même thème, cri du cœur, genre ça ira. Même refrain qui vient de ces zones à mocher. Noisy LSC, zone à notcher. Des billes décalées, des années. Que c'est l'alerte rouge comme condamné. Détalé, s'en aller ou chialer. Jamais, plutôt qu'à l'aide, on n'entend crier. Pas année, qu'est ton couleur café. Non, c'est pas gagné. Si tu voulais taper, trop de parents, trop de parents, trop de casaniers. Qui tient mon baron de plus que ça ira. Ça ira. Comme le scélérat, pour le sale, pas bellas, même sort, même idée. Qu'on s'en sorte à l'espoir, tous fides. Ah, San Paolo, zone à Norche. Ça ira. Quoi, c'est LSC. Ira. Si, si. Ira. Ah. Ira, ira. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. And coming right up, we'll see this home squad playing against the Brooklyn Nets. Looking at the Nets, they're not satisfied with the record over the last 10 games. Under 500 basketball, just not good enough. Looking to improve tonight. And so the All-Star break is behind us. Second half of the season is upon us. Shaq, is this where we'll see the great teams start to separate themselves from the rest of the pack? Yeah, I think so. But uh, still a lot of games that have to be played. A lot can happen. That's out of your control. Uh, you know, you got to keep a strong mindset, work hard, and just hope for the best. But this is where the postseason picture will start to get in focus because right now we're trying to figure out who's going to be who and who's playing where, who's the matchups, and you come in with those great graphics at the end. But this is where it's starting to get clarification, Ernie. Playoff. State of mind. The uh, tip off. Greetings, everyone. 2K Sports brings you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. 
Last outing for the Nets, it was a loss to Washington at the Verizon Center. And I think they could hold their heads high from that performance, you know, despite the final score being what it was. I agree with you. I mean, it was a tough game played in a tough environment on the road. And they were in it right until the bitter end. So that's good stuff. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. Now it's... Chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Batuma's out there with Thomas Robinson. Then it's Rose, and it's Rozier in at the two spot. Passes to Coleman. To the inside, some nice ball movement here by Seattle. On defense, Seattle coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. You know, they played well enough to win, but to be honest with you, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance was shaky at best. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard for it as they should have. And it's Seattle with the ball. There's the pass to Persingas. And out of bounds is the Nets gain possession. It's the Nets now. Last time they met was in Brooklyn. They drew a lot of fouls in their games, guys, and, and that was the one area that really stood out when you watched it. Just lack discipline defensively, Greg. I mean, that's why they got a lot of free points at the charity strike. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. To the middle. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. On defense, Seattle. And it's Rose penetrating, and the shot is good. Rose has got his first basket of the night. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. George passes to Persingas. The feed now to George. Trains the three-pointer. George has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. What are you going to do defensively? Such separation with the height advantage in that matchup. Here's Rozier. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Right side Robinson, outside Rose, down to five on the shot clock. Here's Rozier. Oh, that's blocked. And he gets it back. And a big pounce off. the rim but it sinks right in Rogier's got his second basket here's Persingas pass to Coleman and it's Seattle with another and just a step ahead 
of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Outside Rose. Pass to Rogier. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rogier's got six. For Seattle, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Passes it to Coleman. Oh, oh wow. wow! That's a beautiful chance. Now that's the way it's done. Take it up high and throw it down with everything you got. That's right. Uh, Clark, he was not going to take the soft approach on that drop. I would certainly hope not. I mean, you get that kind of opportunity with little resistance from the defense, you got to take it. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one they want. Batum with the three. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean... Make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. First trip to the line for him here. And the first one at the line is good. And the second free throw, good. And he makes all three. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free throw line. And George, here we go. Oh, it's not possible what we just said. Clark, is that possible? Not is probable, it? but it is possible, <laughs> partner. It is possible. And, and think Holy about it, guys. That's the, one of the few guys in the entire league who can pull off something like that. And the basket by Rose. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Outside for George. And there's the pass to Persingas. And that one's good. Persingas has got six. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Here's Rogier. He's got six. There's a screen by Robinson. Rogier, the pass to Robinson. Fires the three. And there's... Derrick Rose on the assist by Robinson. Seven points for Derrick Rose. For Seattle, they've gone 7-9 from the field. A really nice start offensively for them. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Here's Persingas. Batum grabs the miss. Brooklyn's gone. 1-3 from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Rozier. Johnson with the clock. And now here's George. The fast break opportunity. Good on the Dang. shot. Six points for him. And the lead goes right back. What a seesaw affair we've got going on. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can quite grab hold of it.
Damar Soap there. Somebody's got to take charge here. So for the Nets, Green, he's checked in for Thomas Robinson. And Tony Allen subbed in for Rozier. And the wide open shot from Green. Off target from three point range. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. George with the ball. And Rose picks him up defensively. And George, here we go. Batum with the steal. Inside. Here's Rose. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Rose has got nine points. Clark, eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. You know, both teams showing a lot of resilience, I think. Coming back and coming back, back and forth, back and forth. Reminds me of a song. Yeah, Kevin, that's Cameo, uh, to be exact. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. Back to Batum. Second chance shot. It's tipped. Here's the break. And here they go. Here's George. Rebound, Brooklyn. Here's Rose. Here's Looney. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Brooklyn making some changes. The Ambo comes in for Nicholas Batum. And Taylor subbed in for Rose. The Nets have gone three for three at the line tonight. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board. 77% collectively. And it's Seattle with the ball. Four-point game. A nice shot by McDaniel. Taylor with the ball. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. And they're able to recover. That's good. Looney's got five points so far. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. <laughs> the dish to Monte Yunus. Monte Yunus has a screen for Rubio. Monte Yunus kicks to McDaniel. Feeds to Rubio. Here's your bow to the left side wing. Inside. And the basket by Rubio. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But, boy, that was a nice job. Here's Taylor after the made shot from Ricky Rubio. Stolen by McDaniels. And he dunks it down. Terrific assist that time by Rubio. Here's Taylor. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Outside, Green. Shot is no good. Seattle goes the other way with it. And Rubio kicks to McDaniels. Over to the left wing. Down low, Ronnie Eunice. Green with the block. The shot by McDaniels, no good. Brooklyn's gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Allen kicks to Green. Yambo dishes to Allen. Yambo, the pass to Allen. Outside, Green. Shot clock at five. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Allen, that's good. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Doris Burke had a chance to catch up with head coach Lionel Hollins. And Doris, what'd you find out? We talked about the challenges posed by a player like Ricky Rubio, such a tremendous passer and floor general. Coach said, we know he can make plays, but making shots is where he's been less effective. We need to focus on staying home and forcing him to beat us with his scoring. Guys, we'll see if they can... Doris, thanks. Oh, step, Marty. Oh, step. 
There's 49 seconds left in the first. Six to shoot. Here's your boat. Seattle needs to get off a shot. And the jam by Monte Yunus. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Lynette shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. And it's Rubio. That time on the assist by Curry. And Seattle leads by two. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. Well, neck and neck. How about that? I mean, ferociously competitive. I mean, tight as me in an airplane bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not the visual I was looking for right now, but there have been a lot of lead changes. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either, Greg. He took a shot for the team in that situation. A three ball. Taylor with the rebound. Here's Rozier. Trips down the breakaway slam. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. It's all tied in Seattle. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And that's head coach Lionel Hollins known for his no-nonsense style, but he'll tell you he's still got a good sense of humor. I told him, oh, you can joke with me, you can laugh at me. I'm not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't think that Coach Hollins is anyone uh, to be trifled with, and I think the net players would agree with me on that one. <laughs> oh, yes, I know they, they've got that one figured out. And I do, too, as a matter of fact. The last thing anybody on the team better be doing is laughing at Lionel Hollins. Just ask Darren Williams. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And guys, what stands out to you from the Nets in this one? It just They've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. Yeah, this is how you can keep a crowd quiet, though, Greg. I mean, methodically score at the line and take some of that energy away from the fans. They don't like to have the action stop and the opposing team scoring. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Nets. Rozier is out there with Derrick Rose. Then there's Batum, then it's Green, and it's Robinson. In at the five, down low. Rose, good! I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And Seattle leads by two. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket. Right in the shooting pocket. For a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. And it's something we haven't seen much of at the opposite end of the floor. Next ball. George. Second quarter and we're... Just over a minute in. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And Greg, those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. The shot by George, wide open. And another three for Seattle. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. And they may have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Jeff Green on the wing. Let's it fly from 18. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got his third assist on the night. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. I tell you what, I like that, though, guys. Some coaches might not want you to make a play like that. But I tell you what, when you got the skills like that, I say go for it. Seattle leading by three. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. And that one's good. And 12 points here for George. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Double team on Rose. Here's Rozier. Offline with his three. Seattle has gotten it going from downtown in the second quarter. They're three of three on three pointers. But three, no good. 
And it's the Nets taking it the other way. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. Rose kicks to Green. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Pass to Persingas on the wing, Johnson. Rebound, Thomas Robinson. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Rose double teamed. That's good, and the Seattle lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Robinson. A splendid pass that time by Rose. Pass to Persingas. Unloads. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. And guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G.A. You're right. A glaring error defensively and letting them get all the way to the basket that time. But it's only two points. I mean, it was flashy, no doubt, but still... It only counts for two. Two is all. Looney's checked in for Brooklyn. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Seattle? They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And keep an eye on the three-point shooting because that has been a factor as well. If they can maintain that current form, they can be successful. Tries yet again. It's deflected. He's covered by Rhodes. Here's Persingas. Seattle missing again. Nets trail by four. And here's Rose. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Wizards in Washington. And also, give him credit for his ability to pass the basketball. He was always looking for the open man. Kicks to Rubio. Out left to the wing. Here's Przingis. 23 points for him the last game against Houston. And Seattle making a change here. Nick Daniels checked in. Brooklyn's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Rozier. Eight points for him. Outside Rose. Passes it to Rozier. Just five to shoot. They now take the lead. Rozier's got ten points. Mark, you talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition of yeah, that. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, not even through the first half, and it's been one heck of a battle. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Monty Yunus has checked in for Seattle. Tony Allen's checked in for Brooklyn. Taylor comes in for Derrick Rose. Watkins passes to George. Shoots from the elbow. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got four rebounds now tonight. Allen outside. Dishes it to Batum. They double him with George. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Batum. A moment now to see the numbers for Rubio. He's averaging seven points a game, six assists, and three rebounds. And he's really been pulling his weight. He's had a hand in some big plays here recently. Yeah, in every way, I think he's doing a much better job, and the numbers certainly support that. He feeds it to George. Here's Watkins. Money in his kicks to McDaniels. Watkins, started by Green. The three from George. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Outside, Taylor. Outside, Batum. Allen passes to Looney. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Right side, Green. Green. 
Hangs in the air. It's deflected. In the corner, George with it. Rubio outside. They get the rebound. Here's the three. Rebound, Brooklyn. Looney's got six rebounds in the game. Batum dishes to Taylor. Allen kicks to Green. Back to Allen. Outside, Taylor. Looney passes to Taylor. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. The Nets making a switch here. Biombo's checked in. Seattle has gone an even 50% from three-point range in the second quarter. Four for eight. There's a screen by Modi Yunus. The feed to Temple. And the foul called on Bismack Biombo. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. To the middle. Here's your bow, and he bangs it all with one hand. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Yeah, and in a close game, though, guys, those could be really important points. The sharp steal and then run out. It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Mm -hmm. Maybe that'll be a springboard for him. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. There's the pass to Allen. No good. Curry with the defensive effort. Seattle leading by four. There's a good screen. He dishes it to Temple. Kicks it out to Rubio. Feeds it to Monte Yunus. Curry passes to Temple. From outside, off the mark. Brooklyn's gone one of two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Taylor kicks to Allen. Ambo dishes to Taylor. Looney passes to Batum. Here's Looney. From deep. And the shot is good. Looney's got eight points. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Curry kicks to Temple. Right wing. Rubio against Taylor. To the paint. Jibbo. And the dunk to finish it off. A uh, beauty. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Nice, nice way there, guys, to finish up that possession. It's Allen on the win. Yambo dishes to Batum. He kicks it to Allen. From 12 feet out, Monte Yunus grabs the miss. Monte Yunus has got three rebounds now in this one. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jumpers. Really good point, Greg. I mean, you want to keep that balance and attacking inside creates space for shooters and having shooters creates opportunities inside. So it works hand in glove. There's a screen by Modi Yunus. And another shot. Curry kicks to Rubio. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Nets trail by five. Yeah, I'd like to see him use a little clock here. I agree with you. Milk the clock with this possession. That's what they've got to be doing. Taylor against Rubio. Got a piece of it. Here's Temple. 